Hello fellow trappers, my name is Dustin Drews. I'm the owner along with my wife Jessica Drews of Drews's Enterprises. And we come out with a product for the trapping industry that we're calling the Reaper Body Grip Stabilizer. Um, <clears throat> kind of an intro of how it came about. I'm a pretty avid trapper and I pretty much tried every body grip stabilizer on the market from H stands to uh, to the KB to the weld and a bolt on the side of a piece of rebar and, uh, and actually bolting the, the trap to the uh, rebar. I tried the stakes, I tried willows and every one left me uh, a little short of what I wanted. And finally uh, a friend of mine, Brian Moreland, said, Dustin, you need to come up with a better stabilizer for the for the trapping market. And I really spent a lot of time trying to figure it out. And we come up with an uh, insulator for a fence post, is what we started with. And we worked from there. <clears throat> we teamed up with Dare Products, and they built us a mold. Um, it has a flat face with a 3 16 hole. Um, with a le lesser opening than the standard fence post for more rigidity and so there's plenty of room for the nylock nut and the, the fender wash that goes in there. Uh, it'll fit any pole from 3 8 up to 3 quarter. Um, on the 3 8 poles, um, due to its versatility and size, we recommend just running a spacer in the back. As you can see to put a spacer in it's really easy, you just push it in and uh, that allows it so you can tighten it down and it won't crimp the thread and cross thread on you. Uh, we mainly want to design this, <clears throat> wanted to design this around a 5 8 or 3 quarter inch fiberglass rod. And the reason we wanted to do that is so you get some stacking features. Um, 5 8 rebar post for snare supports and then we're also coming out with the 330 design. Um, so we can use this on uh, 330 body grips also. Uh, the 3 8 post works well um, only on bottom edge sets though. Uh, you don't have enough rigidity in the post to do the top edge sets. When we get out to the water we'll show you what we're talking about there. Um, <clears throat> the actual clip that holds the body grip is actually a honest to goodness spring steel. Um, Dakota Line come out with it, and uh, they're coming out with the 330 uh, body grip clip also. They call them the Huggy Clips. Um, it's the only one that's painted, so it won't rust. And I think it's only one of two on the market that's actual, in honest-to-goodness, spring steel. How it works is really simple. You just take your body grip trap, clamp it onto the side of the post, I'm always worried about doing this on video. I'm afraid I'll become one of the 110 club again. All right, as you can see, the trap can be set this way, and it can also rotate 360 degrees. The reason we wanted it to rotate so if you got a hole that you're trying to cover uh, up in a bank somewhere you can stick the trap in and then just kind of rotate it whatever way you want to cover the hole in like a bank dead situation. Another reason we wanted to rotate is so we can set it like this, pile some grass on here and turn this body grip trap into a foothold. Um, instead of running a float you can just use this. So we're kind of getting more stacking features off of one trap. Um, we looked into a lot of different designs with Dare when we were molding this product. Uh, we, we wanted to go with the plastic piece, but we couldn't come up with a plastic that would maintain its strength and form over a long period of time. Uh, we also looked into just doing a stabilizer that, that clips rigidly, rigidly to this and didn't rotate, but without the spring steel and the flex, we couldn't get it to fit all the body grips that are on the market. So, <clears throat> the the main goal that we come up with this is a good body grip stabilizer that does multiple uses, that's multiple poles, 
boot. The main reason I come up with this insulator is so we can stack on other features. Um, we're going to have about seven different products for the trapping industry all coming off this one insulator. And you'll be seeing them in the market. The only one I'm going to tell you, but only ones I'm going to tell you about today is the 331 that's coming as soon as uh, Dakota Line gets that done. And then the next one that we're bringing out right away is the snare support. Uh, that'll be done within a week. So without further ado, we're going to get out to the creek and uh, kind of show you the versatility of this product and hopefully you like it. Good afternoon, folks. We're down here across the road from my house on a balmy 100 degree day in July on the prairie of South Dakota. We're doing a little video to, uh, to show you about the Reaper body grip stabilizer a little bit more. Um, most people, when they use body grips, are either doing a bottom edge set, a top edge set, or a muskrat run set. So I kind of like to trap a little bit of mink, or, or try to anyways. So we're going to do a bottom edge set first. The nice thing about this, I'm going to muddy up the water, there's a concrete flat spot. If anybody knows anything about bottom edge sets, they know what I'm talking about. Let's take it, push it down to the bottom. We touched. Okay, that's the bottom edge sets done. Then, a lot of minks swim across the surface along points, so we'll just throw a top edge set in. So now we have our top edge and our bottom edge covered. We can slide this up a little bit more, push that down. And using the same grip, we can do this. We can make a, a muskrat set. Out of using this grass. Get a little grass here, a little seaweed. Pile it on the trap. Oh, muskrat gets up there to climb. And we're using the 110 as a uh, as a foothold trap. So you got you got three traps on the same pole. You got the bottom edge covered. You got the top edge covered. And you got the, the platform covered like you would for a float. <clears throat> you can put two of these traps side by side to cover a run on muskrats. So you don't have to get a 120 or a 220s or 160s. I have to remove that spring. Anyways, you can go down and cover one run with two different traps. And then also, say you got a creek situation, um, we can cover up the entire top of the creek with uh, with blind sets. So you want to let me get in the water here, and we'll show you that. Neat thing about this. Using a one pole is we can cover up almost the top of a creek with sets. So if we just slide these down, stick this in the mud, <laughs> we 
and we just keep on stacking traps up, we can pretty much cover the entire creek with equipment. I don't know any other stabilizing system on the market that allow you to do this. The reason I want you guys to stay away from the 3 8 post is they're too flimsy. At a half inch post it's, it gets pretty wobbly even. If you're just doing the mink and the muskrats, half inch is what I start out with. <clears throat> if you intend to do any beaver trapping whatsoever, just start off and get 5 8 or 3 quarter inch fiberglass. Because imagine if they were 3 30s right there lined across the creek and you're otter trapping. It's just totally, totally versatile. So don't get cheap on your post because it's going to cost you more money in the long term. If you're a kid just starting out and you don't have a lot of money, or you're a seasoned trapper that don't want to put a lot of money into it, they also work on half inch conduit. Uh, we wanted to do that. I think it's a buck 97 or 98 a foot, or a, oh, a 10 foot stick. You can cut it in two <coughs> and get two, uh, two uh, five foot sticks. And it's a lot more rigid than even the half inch fiberglass rod. Just be careful it does bend from time to time. Um, <coughs> we'll remove all these. We'll remove this guy. I'll get you another post here. For you guys is, that like to trap mink, and you're looking for one system to do everything, I don't like rebar for that reason. Here's a nice little mink runway right here. All you have to do is tighten her down, push it down. Then you're going to catch all the mink and all the rats that go through there. So the system's versatile, you can use it on rats, you can use it on mink, <coughs> it's quick. Um, same thing with the bottom edge set, you can put a baited set in like a deep pool by a, by a beaver dam or below a beaver dam where the mink swim and go after the frogs, you see any frogs, there's one right? They go after them little boogers to eat them. And you can just put a, a fishing lure or a rubber worm, let it float, and they'll come up and grab it. If you haven't watched Don Powell's um, Mink After Mink on Purpose, I highly recommend it. You'll see so many uses for this setup here. I mean, it just covers almost every possible situation for making rats in one system. So. I could uh, I can go on and on. So far, the best the best setup has been with uh, Brian Moreland, the guy that was testing them. He caught a muskrat in the runs, and he put two baited sets on top, just letting it sit like that with uh, carrots, and he caught three rats off one pole in a 24-hour period. If anybody out does Brian, just let me know. I want to get your picture up on the on the website and um, give you a little fame for your work. Again, you can find us at DrewsEnterprises.com D-R-E-W-S Enterprises.com If you have any uh, questions or you want to email us any pictures, you can uh, email us at DrewsEnterprises at Yahoo.com I guess we'll, we'll leave it at that. We appreciate you checking out our product and hopefully it, uh, it's as successful for you as it has been for us. Have a good trapping season. One thing I uh, just remembered as we were kind of closing up, for you guys that trapped it underneath the ice around muskrat huts, you usually only have one area that's really good. And you can keep stacking these traps in front of muskrat hut underneath the ice. So you put baited carrots or corn or whatever you're going to use underneath the ice. Some guys use parsnips. 
stick it down. You can have four or five traps off one pole in the ice <coughs> in a good muskrat run uh, for trapping underneath the ice. Um, the 330 version that's coming out, it's going to work the same way. You can trap beaver under the ice with a, with 330s and, and 5 8 rod or whatever. So it's definitely going to be highly, highly entertaining to see how many people how many beaver people can catch with the system underneath the ice. I know that's probably the hardest work in trapping is trapping underneath the ice. So this should speed it up greatly. Mm -hmm.